So this is how we actually figure out whether something is nerve pain or whether something is actually muscular. And in this case, we're looking at muscle pain of the uh, abductor hallucis longus due to the big toe being pushed in this direction. So I've already mapped out where the pain, palpation of pain is, and I totally suggest you do this so that every time the client comes back, you can actually see if there's been any improvement. So if we were to push on those spots. Ow. 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 Okay, so in, I'll push all the way around. And this can this is also for differential diagnosis because in this area, it could literally be anything. And unfortunately, it gets misdiagnosed as plantar fasciopathies on too many occasions. And the reason why we know this is abductor hallucis longus issue, issue is because if we were to put the, the big toe or the hallux into the correct position and pull the toe outwards to where it actually needs to be, the pain should disappear. And in any case, underneath, if it's muscular, if you put the actual foot into the correct position and you palpate again, the pain will disappear. So is this sore? No. What about here? No. And what about here? No. But if I put the toe back? Ow. <laughs> that was just too easy. I love it. So that's how you can tell the difference between whether something is actually a muscular issue and being made to do a job it's not meant to do or whether there's something else involved. In this case, what we're going to do is I've already made the changes to the shoes to facilitate ideal foot function. I'm just going to make an um, interdigital wedge to put in between the first and second toe and that should do the job.